If you don't know me by now, you know I love AI. Talk about it every day. So I'm pretty excited when a tool that I've used kind of before the generative AI uh, craze adds some AI features. So let's check out Scribe, uh, show you how to use it, and maybe take a look at some of the AI features. So uh, if you don't know, my name's Jordan Wilson, and this is AI in 5. So uh, this is part of Everyday AI, which is a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people use and understand AI. So let's talk real quick about this new feature, new-ish feature from Scribe. So Scribe is essentially a Chrome extension that you install and you can uh, explain things on your screen and it breaks it down step-by-step. Step. So this is something that we've used for clients for years. Uh, it saves a lot of time. So you don't, you know, if, if you're doing something highly technical, trying to teach someone, uh, you know, Scribe is a, a great uh, tool to go ahead and do that. So, you know, it says the examples are onboarding new hires, uh, you know, creating SOPs, building training docs, answering questions, you know, et cetera. So, but the thing that I wanted to take a look at is this new thing right here, which is AI generated process documents. So let's jump in and let's just do a quick uh, use case for this. So um, we're going to go ahead. I'm sharing my chat GPT window right now. So in this example, we're going to teach someone how to use chat GPT. So I have uh, again, you have to sign up for at least a free account with Scribe, and then you also have to install the Chrome extension. So I have those things done already. So hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to see here. Let me just make sure you can see the Chrome extension pop up. Let's double check here. All right, cool. So pretty simple. What we're going to do, you just click that start recording do what you would normally do. I'm going to walk you through what I'm doing. And then it's going to create a step-by-step -step guide that you can, you know, as an example, save as a PDF. Um, and we're going to uh, show you all what that looks like. So let's just say in this example, I'm teaching someone how to use chat GPT. All right. So here's, here we go. I'm going to click the scribe and I'm going to click start capture. Oh, cool. And it looks like there's some recommended scribes, which I didn't know was a thing, uh, probably based on the website that you're viewing. So cool new feature. So I'm going to click start capture. And it says now capturing your browser. So I'm actually going to uh, go ahead and put the URL in. So that captures. I don't know if it starts with that. So we'll see if it's a duplicate. All right. So now it should be capturing. And I'm going to click new chat because, again, I'm explaining this to someone by default. And I'm going to explain to them how to install plugins, let's say. So I'm going to click. Uh, I don't know if it gets hovers. So I'm going to go ahead and click GPT-4. And then I'm going to scroll down and click plugins. I'm going to click this drop down arrow. I'm going to scroll down. Actually, I need to zoom out a little bit. So we'll even see if it catches that. Um, I'm going to click plugin store. I'm just going to search for, uh, I don't know, plugin. There's plugins that do plugins, right? Um, let's just go ahead. Yeah, no, let's actually just search. Uh, we'll install this weather plugin. I'm going to click install and that's it. And let's say that's all I need to do. Um, and I'm going to click show controls over here and I'm going to click complete capture. All right. So what I like is it instantly um, opens up your new scribe. So this is the step-by-step -step process. You'll see it's right there, which is pretty cool. Um, this, it got it pretty right. So it said setting up a chat plugin on OpenAI's website. So I'm going to, I'm just going to use a overview of plugins on chat GPT as an example, right? Um, so it says navigate to chat.openai.com. Perfect. Click on new chat. Great. Uh, it says click here. So I'm going to uh, change this. I'm going to say uh, hover over GPT-4. There we go. I'm going to scroll down here. And then it says click here. Normally it picks this up. Um, I'm, I'm actually surprised it didn't uh, get the GPT-4, that it didn't get the plugin, and it just said here. It could it could be with something how, uh, you know, OpenAI labels, uh, you, you know, kind of the different elements um, in their kind of like web design, web development process. It could be that. So uh, I'm going to just, it, it, so it says click this button. So I'm going to say click the, uh, click the down arrow. Uh, this was me zooming out. So it did capture that. That's good to know. So again, if you're teaching something technical that requires you to type things in, uh, you know, zoom in, zoom out, special keyboard keys, whatever. Uh, so this is good. Click plugin store. Good. Click search plugins. Uh, type plugin. Enter. Click here. Uh, I'm going to say click to install. Uh, click the install button. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that and we are done. So I'm gonna click, I think done editing. Yep. All right, and here is the AI feature. So, well, actually let's just even just take a look at what this looks like um, when it's done. So I just opened it up in a new tab and here it is. Here is our finished document. And when you are on a paid plan, uh, I believe you can export it. Uh, oh no, you can still export it right now on a free plan um, as a PDF, which is great. Um, and there's some other, uh, you know, some other options when you have a paid plan as well. Uh, but I, I wanted to get back into this real quick and we'll wrap this one up here. So I wanted to get into the, uh, the AI feature. So you click add to page and then add to a page with AI. Um, so then I get this, uh, kind of blank page and it says, ask AI to write anything. So, uh, I'm going to say, um, explain why, um, someone might want to use chat. GPT and explain the process of getting started in chat GPT. I hate, I hate typing, uh, when, you know, kind of live. All right. So this is good. Here we go. So, uh, you know, it says it's using, uh, presumably it's using GPT content here. Um, I'm, I'm guessing from, um, open AI. So uh, it says, why use ChatGPT? Cool. We have a nice little, uh, nice little uh, couple paragraphs here. You can go through and, and edit this, uh, presumably, and you can, okay. It looks like even within the editing of the document, you can use AI, which is great. Um, so it looks like that's it. And then it says overview of plugins. That's good. I wasn't even sure um, because plugins are a little newer. I wasn't sure if it would be able to grab that information, but it did. So let's see the options. The options are, okay, you can kind of, uh, do some different things with the header. Uh, you can duplicate it, you can favorite. Um, and then let me just click done. And then I'm going to click share. And then I'm going to click, let's see. Okay, you can embed it. I'm going to click copy link. We're done. Let's just view this little document here. All right, so we just created a document with this as well. So I'm going to I'm going to jump back in here. Um, I'm going to go back to I'm going to go back to my scribes. Let's take a look here. Oh, we lost it. Little, little confusing here on the, uh, on the interface, but that's okay. So, uh, let's see. I think I probably have to go. Let us see. Yeah, we're a little, little confused. So the, uh, the interface is a, a tad bit confusing. Yeah, the interface was confusing. So I just had to go back to the website. So might might be something to look into. So um, here we go. So we have our overview of plugins that we created. So here is our, um, you know, our scribe that kind of uh, shows. And then um, yeah, so I guess I guess the thing that I'm not quite sure about, and maybe they uh, might be something for the scribe team to look at is is how I can combine these two. Um, that's what I was kind of thinking, you know, so when I had my scribe up here, um, you know, I went to edit and it said, add to page. It says, add this scribe to an AI generated process document, no work needed from you. So I guess the, the thing I'm still kind of, um, little, li little confused about, I guess is, um, where, where that is like, are these two, uh, combined? Um, I'm not quite sure because, you know, I'll, I'll go into this, uh, kind of the smart document that it made. So I'm not sure how it combines the two, uh, but regardless, you know, at least, you know, if you're making an overview of something, if you're making a scribe, you can, you know, pretty quickly in the same platform without leaving, uh, create a, uh, kind of using AI to create a more longer written document to help complement or supplement, um, you know, your scribe. So. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if so, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back again for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.